the Murray Free Energy Diode Machine, developed by Electrical Engineer T. Henry Murray in the early 20th century, has been a subject of controversy and skepticism in the scientific community for decades. Despite its unconventional approach to generating electricity, there is evidence to suggest that Murray's generator was a genuine success. Murray's generator is a radiant energy generator that utilizes the essence of Tesla's pulse technology. The machine was designed to harness the energy of the ether, a theoretical substance believed to permeate all of space. By establishing an initial voltage through a conductor about 17 meters long, suspended by two poles with a height of 2 meters, Murray was able to create a tension setting that corresponded to the ether's energy. Once this initial voltage was established, Murray's machine worked to promote this tension, creating a high voltage that could be harnessed for electricity generation. This process was achieved through the use of impulse technology, which generates radiant energy from an electronic circuit. By using a diode to convert the radiant energy into direct current, Murray was able to produce up to 50 kilowatts of electrical power. There are several reasons to believe that Murray's generator really works. First and foremost, there are numerous eyewitness accounts and testimonials from individuals who witnessed the generator in action. These accounts describe the machine producing large amounts of electrical power, enough to power entire buildings and even small towns. Additionally, there are several photographs and diagrams of the machine, along with detailed descriptions of its design and operation. Furthermore, Murray's work was not simply dismissed by the scientific community. In fact, he received several patents for his inventions and was even invited to present his work to the prestigious Franklin Institute in Philadelphia. While some scientists were skeptical of Murray's claims, others were intrigued by his work and conducted their own experiments to try and replicate his results. Despite these successes, Murray's generator was never widely adopted or commercialized. Some speculate that this was due to the influence of established energy companies who saw Murray's work as a threat to their profits. Others suggest that Murray's machine was simply too complex and difficult to reproduce on a large scale. In conclusion, there is evidence to suggest that the Murray Free Energy Diode machine did in fact work. By harnessing the energy of the ether through the use of impulse technology, Murray was able to produce significant amounts of electrical power. While his work was met with skepticism and resistance, it remains an intriguing example of the potential of unconventional energy sources.